Yeah. What do you mean, how, and it's a wise woman? Oh, how you treat women? Because you can identify what is known by necessity. It's like telling me, identify who are you, like what is a son? Son is a son, yeah. Woman is known, what is, what are we talking about? What is woman? <laughs> you know, the Western world is going crazy, they don't even know. Now, the point here you have to bring, the Western world, they cannot really utilize this argument or this doubt anymore about Islam oppressed women. Why I'm saying that? Because they cannot define what woman is. Literally, man with his penis, everything they tell you, he can be a woman too. It's crazy now. Understand? That's why look what's happening. The man raped two women. He told them he's a woman. What they did, they put him in prison with a woman. That's paradise for him. Islam treats women with respect. Naam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the Quran about the wives who are ashuna bin ma'roof. Okay, Allah mentioned about the believer females. If they are righteous, they have paradise for them. Okay, Prophet Muhammad said, take care of women. Yeah, no doubt about that. Woman has high status. We do not utilize our women to you to sell our product. You understand? We don't put toothpaste next to a naked woman. What naked woman has to do with toothpaste? <laughs> Please, Barakallah, make no. We take care, we love our women. That's why our women are more valuable than diamonds. That's why in Muslim countries, there's there's certain things you cannot insult a man with. Don't insult his mother, don't insult his wife, his sister, his daughter. Otherwise, there'll be war. You understand? They wage a war against you. You understand? So we love our women. If we hate women, why we allow you to marry for? If you hate, if you if you, if you hate coffee, would you drink a four cup of coffee? The fact that you you drink four, four cup of coffee, I mean you love it. We love our women, alhamdulillah, and we make sure that take care of them, look after them. You know, the Nabi Sallallahu said, like I mentioned, before he died, Qabat al Haja, he said, take care of women. Barakallah But they want our women to be what's happening now in the Western world, which we feel, feel sorry for them. Women just walking naked and, you know, just have not been utilized like a public toilet. Anyone can come and urinate. Audhu Billah. Barakallah, that's a good point. Yes, Assalamu Alaikum. That's a good point. He said they do it in the name of the empowerment. But it doesn't empower them. Uh, they're just, uh, like they say, like they say, they just use goods. Yeah, there's a lie. They say empowerment. But of course, because what, if they say, oh, women, we want to destroy you, the woman, the woman will not listen to them. So when they say, women, we are here to empower you. Empower you, mashallah. I want to be strong. I want to, I want to have power. But what it means, all women want to destroy you, basically. That's why we have to be careful from mustalahat, terminologies. Barakallah, people. So, alhamdulillah, Islam treats women with justice. And there's difference between justice and to be equal. Sometimes to be equal is injustice. Yeah. Understand? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Like, you know, a woman like queen, say at home, we go provide for them. You know, we go run after the bus, run after this, you know, try to do our best. Understand? You don't see the queen running after the bus. Have you, uh, she died. Have you seen the queen before running after the bus? She wants to go to work? Yeah, she's sitting, she's in her throne, in her own palace, you know? She said that the, the house for the woman is like her own palace. She can, she can, she can. Yeah, but not every woman, but that, that, was, that was the woman, the Pharaoh one. You know, that, 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 that the woman, a woman at home, she can go to any part of her house. But at work, she can't go every part. She's controlled by the boss. Yeah. But at home, her husband cannot say, don't go to this room or that room. That's how she goes to the toilet anytime. But at work, she'll be controlled which time she should go to the toilet or a bathroom. You know? So the point here is we love our women. Islam came to free women from the slavery of desires and shaitan to become a slave of Allah. Because in this world, Either you're a slave of your desires or a slave of Allah. You cannot escape it. Either you're gonna to submit to your desires or you're gonna to submit to something else. Or to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so when you submit to Allah, to your creator, so have you been bro? That's the, the meaning, the true meaning of freedom. To, to be servant of Allah, barakallah people. Alhamdulillah, now even non-Muslim women, but you know they say we oppress women, majority of reverts in Britain, America, are what? How they Muslim and they refer? How they Muslim? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are women, but <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Because they see freedom in Islam. And we love, like I said many times, 
We love good for this country and around the world. We love good for the non-Muslims. We want them to be guided. You understand? Look what's happening now, bro. Like I said, they cannot even define what woman is. They always ask why they have to cover this. For you to not look at them. Tell them. Straightforward. Tell them Allah. There's another one, National Women's Day. You don't know who's supposed to turn up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like to turn up. Yeah. <laughs> in America, yeah, yeah. the bravest woman is a man. Biologically, is a man. Have you not seen it? Yes. Yeah, the award for the year, the bravest woman, is a man. Bro, oh. but you know, is but you know what? Allah Akbar. You know, Allah Allah Akbar. Regardless of how much power they have to try to misguide the people from Islam, Allah will expose them with their own tongues. They're doing it to themselves. Subhanallah. Now you can beat up a woman if police stand up. So I'm a woman as well. You're just a woman fighting a woman. What's the problem? You can't arrest me. You go to jail, woman jail. Yeah, uh, woman jail. Paradise. You, become, you, you have four wives that divorce. Another one. Get another one. Shoot there. Jail. Yeah. May Allah protect us, man. Alhamdulillah. And you know how many in America? There's a lot of men now. They are saying they are women. To so get moved from. Yeah. It's a reason. So when, when someone asks you why women have to cover themselves, say ask him why you have to cover yourself as well. Why do you cover yourself? You're not naked. Correct? You have to wear trousers. Are you naked? If he said no, nobody has to cover. He said, okay, who should dictate which part should be covered, which part should not be covered? Who should dictate that? As we say Allah. Yeah. You cannot dictate that because why you're coming from a subjectivity. Do you understand? So Allah told the woman to cover, likewise for the men to cover. Can I come topless here? I cannot come. It's not permissible to come topless. Barakallahu alaikum. Or to come with the shorts. So Allah told the men the way to cover, likewise the woman the way to cover. Yeah, that's it. Allah told us. And uh, uh, I remember uh, a woman, old woman came to me to our da'wah table. She said, I saw, uh, she said, can I ask you something, uh, my son? I said, go on. She said, I saw a man now with his daughter, she's seven years old, and she, he was, uh, she was wearing a uh, hijab. I said, what is the problem with that? I said, yeah, but you know, it's brainwashing her. I said, wait, wait, there's no parents in the world except they teach their children what they believe is right. So if you call us brainwashing, then every parent is brainwashing child. Why is it okay for you to brainwash your child, but it's not okay for us? For the sake of argument, using this term, yeah? Then I found out, who is that brother? Ahmed Miki. It's my brother. No, no, it's our, from the masjid. He told me, he said, she asked him. So I said to her, yes, we teach, he, he's teaching her. Tarbiye. Tarbiye. Like, when you go to Ahmed Miki, give me a nice example. He said, he told her, you don't go straight away to university. You go to nursery, the reception or reception, then step by step. Likewise, we train our daughters about modesty to cover themselves. <coughs> Understand? Like, salam wa barakatuh. The Sanakh is so, we teach them. When Allah said to the Muslim woman to cover herself, because Allah loved them, and Allah was good for the Muslim woman, because Allah knows they're shy and out there. You know, some people, what they don't do, they want to deceive us. Say, no, all women, is walk naked. You know, and if anyone tries to attack you, the problem with him. And if anyone tries to say, no problem is with you, they're justifying the rape. No, we're not justifying the rape. In Islam, rape, you will receive a capital punishment. You know, however, any human being with a sound reason know that if I'm gonna do something which is gonna allow evil people, because there's evil people out there, that's the reality, you cannot escape it. If you wanna live with this mentality, I'm gonna do whatever I like, and, I, and if something bad happens to me, I'm gonna blame the people, then go live in the moon when there's no people there. There is people out here. For example, if I, have, if I do have 50,000 pounds in a suitcase, and I come speak a corner and open it in a suitcase, and the people take the money, I'm not saying it's okay for them to take the money, it's still wrong. But it's wrong for me too to open the suitcase as well. Barakallah of Iq. Yeah, naam. They don't want to take They don't want to take accountability. Sayyid. But Islam teach you, they teach you, they Islam teach you that. Alhamdulillah for Islam and that's why now the fastest growing religion in the Western world is Islam. Who is doing the job? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Akbar. Imagine this war, this harb that has been waged against Islam. If it was waged against any religion, that religion would be died long time ago. Or would, die, or would be yeah. dead long time ago, would be dead long time ago. But Islam is not even weak, it's stronger. The Muslims are weak because why? We're not following Islam. But those who are following Islam, they are strong. Alhamdulillah.
That's the, the beauty of Islam. نعم. تفضل. إيش يا؟ ما علامة الأول؟ علامة الأحمر. جي تي بي. أجبتك يو؟ العلامة العربية. إيش بفهم؟